Hi there, my name is Kendrick and in this video I'm going to share my experience traveling to Bora Bora in French Polynesia coming right up. My adventure to Bora Bora started in Vancouver, Canada where me and Karen went to the Vancouver airport to board our flight going to San Francisco. After arriving in San Francisco, we boarded an 8 hour flight from San Francisco going all the way to Tahiti. After arriving, we made our way to the Tahiti Airport Immigration and we were greeted with music. After clearing immigration, we exchanged some of our money and then got a taxi that is now going to our hostel where we will be staying for our first night in Tahiti. The hostel was pretty neat with a lot of friendly people. It's called Mahana Lodge. And the next day, we went ahead and grabbed a taxi that is now gonna take us back to the Tahiti airport on our way to Bora Bora. Upon arriving at the Tahiti airport, it wasn't long before we were ready to board our plane going to Bora Bora. The plane is smaller in size than your normal plane, but it is much bigger than a seaplane that you would take if you went to other destinations such as the Maldives. There's not a lot of room in the overhead compartment, so most people did have to check in their bags, including me and Karen, on our way to Bora Bora. Shortly after, we were ready to take off and make our journey to Bora Bora. <laughs> pretty short around the one hour range and along the way you can see some nice views on the outside of different islands clouds and it was definitely a wonderful flight just to see the views of French Polynesia before long we were ready to land and start our adventure in the beautiful island of Bora Bora <laughs> For our luggage, we took some videos just on the outside of the airport before getting ready to take the boat, taking us all the way to the main island of Bora Bora. The boat ride is complimentary to anyone that flies into Bora Bora and it's gonna take you to the main city where you can take a taxi to any place that you are planning on staying to or you can go there and see the visitor center which is what Karen and me was planning on doing because apparently in the visitor center you can go book a lot of your excursions there. After boarding the ferry, I got to check out the upper deck of the boat, which was really nice. So I decided to go back down to the cabin to go grab Karen because Karen was feeling a little bit lazy because she was tired after all the traveling that we've done so far. And that way, Karen can also enjoy the upper deck. The view from the top is really picturesque. I really enjoyed the ride going to the main town and it was surreal to see the main island of Bora Bora right up ahead of you. And before long, we made it to the main island and ready to go to the tourist center to go check out the excursions. After booking our excursions, we took a taxi to Lemoana, which is going to be the launching point to the resort that we're staying at. We were planning on staying at the Intercontinental Talasa Spa for one night. I did save up for seven years to get enough points to stay there for one day for free. That means we only have to pay for transportation as well as for the breakfast, lunch, and dinner that we're gonna be eating once we are in the resort. While waiting for the ferry that would take us from Intercontinental Lemoana all the way to Intercontinental Talasso, we got a chance 
to explore the Limuana Resort and it was a nice bright and sunny day and it was really beautiful and I had an amazing time just checking out the place and looking at all the cool things such as the starfish looking corals and the beautiful blue waters and just spending time with Karen because this is one of our dreams come true. Before long, we were now waiting for the ferry to take us to Intercontinental Talasso Spa. And once we took the ferry, it was a relatively comfortable ride to get there with some nice views. Upon arrival, a golf cart looking vehicle took us to the front desk where we would be checking in. While waiting to check in, they provided us with some nice refreshing beverages. Yeah, I wanna sniff it. Okay, grab it. Oh, it smells so good. What is it? It smells so nice. Is this a drink? What is oh, this? Is this a drink? I think so. My dirty, greasy face. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's French vanilla. French vanilla? Isn't like Tahiti famous for the vanilla? Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh, it's good. What is a French vanilla? Ooh. I chugged mine already. Ooh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> wow. Sir? <laughs> oh, it smells oh. so nice. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Got this in my neck now. So do you. After checking in, they took us on a golf cart towards our room in the resort and included in the ride is a small tour of what is located and what is available in the resort. Oh. It's actually based on the same concept as the Bridge of Paris oh. with the locks. Oh. oh, I didn't know that. So if you want, you can come in this garden here okay. and then seal your lock forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> And if you want to do some smoking, we have a big coral garden right here. Oh, okay. a bowl of fish. Oh, yeah. And over there, that's our wedding chapel. Oh, wow. Ready? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, hola. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, cool. Wow, that's so cool. Would you like me to make a quick tour of your villa? Sure. Ah, sure, yeah, why not? Yeah. So right here, you have the control panel for the air conditioning in the living room. Okay. You change the temperature here, uh -huh. on off button right there. Got it. There's buttons for the lights in the living room. Uh -huh. The next one is for the lights underneath okay. the living room. Because <laughs> you have a glass table there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And this one here is for the fan up there. Oh, okay. Okay. Glass table. You can open it by sliding it like this. Oh, wow. If you want to fit the fish. Oh, we can fit the fish here? Right. Just if you do so, Please be careful, because you cannot imagine how many set form we find in the lagoon every oh, day. Okay. <laughs> oh, Please be careful. Okay, got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have kettle as bucket. Yeah. Okay. An espresso machine, okay. which goes with the mini bar, but you have like six pots for free per day. Okay. Okay. The set pots are right here. Okay. And here you have instant tea coffee for free. Okay. Where do the water, we just go from the sink or? I beg your pardon? Uh, for the water, for the kettle. Here comes. <laughs> so, <laughs> mini bar on demand. Yeah. My colleague from the reception will send you all the information by email. Okay. And you'll find the menu from the mini bar okay. in there. Okay. okay. If you need anything, give us a call and we'll send that over. Okay. 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 From now on, we're happy to offer you some water mm -hmm. right here. And just for your information, this water was made in Bora Bora. Oh, nice. Ooh, okay. So, here's the wall. We have USB port. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you need to charge up the camera, I was. Okay. And right here, this plug right here is a 110 voltage plug. Like okay. If you have any American items okay. you need to charge, you can use this plug right there. Perfect. Okay. That's all I all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Your sun deck? Yeah. In my opinion, you feel this the best one. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you why. why. The view of the mountain, you can have it from anywhere yeah. in the resort. Yeah. But the view you have from this villa yeah. around 6, 6.30 with all the lights oh, okay. here is just tremendous. It's a sun, sun, sunset? Actually, sun rises behind there. Sunrise? And goes down 
behind the mountain. Behind the mountain. Okay, right. got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. When you open this door, the air conditioning stops working automatically. Okay. So oh. just close it and it'll come back home. Gotcha. Also, also um, what time? What time is sunrise usually? Uh, these days it's around 5:45. Got it. Okay. 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 Um, when you sleep or when you're up, make sure you close that door. Got it. Okay, okay close okay. that door. Okay. Oh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> you have a speaker in uh -huh. your living room. Okay. And you can connect your smartphone to that speaker if you need. Oh, uh, cool. If you want to play music. Oh, wow. Oh, you nice. find the instructions. Blue on Bluetooth? Yes. Okay, got it. Your bedroom? Wow. Nice. Wow. It's nice view too. <laughs> you get a little view of the, the trees over yeah. there. Yeah. So right here you have the control panel for the air conditioning in your bedroom. Yeah. yeah. Set up the temperature here. And right there you have the oh, Okay, you got it. Okay. On this side of the bed, right here, you'll have the button for the fan up there. Mm. And on the other side of the bed, you'll have the button for uh, the lights. Okay. okay, got it. And the master switch is right here. Okay. okay. He has more USB ports. Okay. Just in case. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> Walk-in closet. Put the safety box in there. Okay. We'll ask you to put all your valuables in the safety box and mm. make sure you close it before you leave your villa. Okay. Okay. For security reason, um, for example, if housekeeping comes to refresh your villa and finds like anything valuable, she will have to wait for you to come back before she starts refreshing your, your villa. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. All okay. right. All right. Sounds good. And right here. Nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have time to take a bath, there's a shower around. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's hidden. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. I mean, pleasure. Um, being an environmental uh, resort, yeah. like a green resort, yeah. we have like some procedures regarding sheets. Oh, okay. That's what you have here. Like, if you want the sheets to be changed, you can just put the card on the bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Same thing for the towels. If you want them to be changed, just put them down or in the um, the bathtub gotcha. and the housekeeping will change them. Got it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> there you go. The okay. key is right here. Perfect. Okay. If you need anything, just hit the instant service button right there that will connect you to the reception. Got it. Okay. okay. Internet connection, you'll be asked for login and password. The login will be your room number, 240, and the password will be your last name. Okay. I mean, in lowercase. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Perfect. Anything else I can do for you? Is there luggage here already? The port is actually coming with the bags. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Merci beaucoup. All right. Thank, thank you. Stay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The room is stunningly beautiful and I was so happy to be here because it was a dream come true for me. Saving up for so long just to be able to take my girlfriend here and have an enjoyable bucket list experience is something that I will never forget for sure. So obviously the first thing that I did was walk around the resort and just really soak in and enjoy the beautiful views of the overwater bungalow as well as seeing the beautiful water and just me and Karen just hanging out and just really having a good time spending time together. One of the highlight is me and Karen just chilling right at our balcony and we decided not to go snorkeling because we book a full day tour of snorkeling already so we just enjoy our time just chilling there enjoying the weather enjoying each other's company as we just goof off made some videos took some pictures and just really enjoyed our experience and of course every time I go someplace new I always check out the gym because I work in the fitness industry so I always like to see what it looks like we also got a chance to look at the resort itself and walk around see some fishes in the water there was also this cool swing that we went to at the sunset where a lot of people go there to take pictures and make videos because it looks very picturesque and after checking out this place it was time to get ready for dinner so Karen and I made our way back to our accommodation where we would get changed before dinner starts and take one last look at the big mountain during the sunset. The dinner was a dinner buffet and I would say it was just okay. It did not blow me away but it was still decent. However, I would definitely say it was quite expensive 
and normally I would not spend this much money on food. But hey, we were here already and you know, it was time to enjoy our time here without thinking so much about every little dollar that we're spending. So we just went ahead and got the dinner buffet, which was fine because we were hungry. So we still got our fill of food. The dinner itself was solid, but it wasn't anything to rave about. But the one thing I can rave about is the customer service of this hotel because I'm lactose intolerant and they made me a lactose free dessert and it was amazing. It was so good. It was so delicious. After dinner was finished, they had a show where the locals would show their local dances to us and it was pretty good, although it did last for quite a while. So depending on the person, some people might have gotten tired after watching the show for over an hour. I think if the show was just 30 minutes long, it would have been perfect, but it was still good and a good chance to see some cultural experience. <laughs> sunrise the next morning was absolutely stunning which I recorded obviously as you can see right now and before long we made our way to eat breakfast at this beautiful hotel I would say that the breakfast was actually a lot better than the dinner and after staying at another overwater bungalow experience in the Maldives I would say in general when you stay in these kind of places that the breakfast are usually better than the dinner at least from my personal experience obviously everyone's experience is gonna be different but just for me so far, so far the breakfast has been, in terms of food deliciousness, has been the best experience. They also made me some dairy-free pancakes, which were awesome. Seeing as we were only staying for one night, before long it was time to check out and they gave us a day room to hang out in while waiting for the ferry to take us back to Lemoana where we would be taking a shuttle provided by our Airbnb to take us to our Airbnb accommodation. The day room was a little bit chilly, which Karen did not like very much, but it had all the amenities that you need. It had AC to keep you cool, and it also had a shower. So if you got sticky seeing as we are in a humid place, then you can refresh yourself and take a shower here. Once we were in Limuana, we took the Airbnb shuttle to our next accommodation, had a nice tour of the place. Obviously it's not as nice as the overwater bungalow, but it was still very comfortable. And from there, me and Karen went on an adventure to see the towns in Bora Bora itself. We went for a nice walk along the town and along the way, we saw some interesting neighborhoods. We even saw this Chinese restaurant that we actually ended up eating our dinner in later on in the evening, as well as our goal of going to this specific supermarket called Chin Li, where apparently you can buy food because we are now staying in Airbnb, so we have to prepare our own meal now. So we went there to grab some snacks and some food. During dinner, we ate at this Chinese restaurant before making our way back to our Airbnb that evening. The next day, the company that we booked our excursion in, I think it had something to do with Lagunarium, I forgot the exact name of the company, it took us to their main office, which is really just their house. And from there, we were gonna get brief on what's gonna happen during our excursion. And it's also gonna be the launching point of our excursion. So that's where they have their boats. The excursion was mostly French people. And there is a couple from Canada as well, like me and Karen, but they're from Montreal. So again, French speaking. So we were mainly the only English speaking individuals that was part of this tour. The tour operators were really warm and friendly and I highly recommend going with them should you ever travel to Bora Bora. <music> we made it to our first snorkeling spot where we would be snorkeling to see fishes and it's my first time snorkeling really so I had a life jacket and the tour operator offered to take my GoPro with me and show me some of the fishes down deep in the water so I happily handed over my GoPro because they said that they can show me that insane looking rockfish <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the next part of the excursion is my absolute favorite this is where we're gonna be seeing the giant manta rays and i can't even say how blown away by the manta ray i am i think this is hands down my favorite experience during my entire time in borbora i was so blown away how amazingly huge this manta ray is and i'm a, such a huge sea creature nerd when i was a kid all i did was read books on sea creatures and to see it in person was such a surreal experience The next snorkeling spot that we went to is just equally as surreal as the manta ray. This time around, we got to see the eagle rays, and oh my god, there were so many of them. I was so blown away. It was such an incredible trip. Thank <laughs> you. 
After seeing the Eagle Race, the next thing we're seeing are the Stingrays. And just like the Eagle Race, they were just as amazing to see. Oh my god. The Stingray actually jumps on you and you can pet it. And it's so friendly. It's like a dog actually. It's so funny. And I actually got freaked out a little bit because one of the Stingrays hit me with her tail. I thought I was done for. But actually, they don't really sting you unless you step on them by accident. So overall, it was such an amazing experience. I can't say that enough. <laughs> Welcome to Bora <laughs> Besides the sting race, there was also this black tip shark, and they were so cool also to see them right beside you swimming around. They're actually not dangerous and they're pretty friendly actually so they just swim around you and you know you can observe them just under the water in this beautiful Bora Bora water the food also attracted the sharks obviously so before long the sharks were swimming around us and it actually started freaking out the French people I actually started cracking a joke at this point. I was like, here comes the sharks. They're here to eat their favorite food, which is the French people. But then no one got my joke because obviously I'm the only one that speaks English here along with my girlfriend. <laughs> to the next spot we were also treated with dolphins jumping out of the water <laughs> on our way to the next spot we got caught in this massive downpour and the winds were so cold and everyone was suffering <laughs> the lagunarium where the tour operator had some lemon sharks just underneath the water and we can go ahead and snorkel with them they were really friendly they didn't really do anything and it was really neat to see them underwater one of them even had a baby lemon shark which was really cool to see as well <laughs>
before our lunch, there was a big pig that was hanging out in the eating area. And he was a lazy pig just laying there doing nothing. <laughs> the lunch was so amazing. They had the best Harvey Paul Neeson dessert here that we ate. And I would say I will never eat this again because I don't know where to get it. It's so good. I wish I could eat it again. It's so damn good. The fruits, mm. Halloween, the fruits, mm. the yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah, like this. Oh, okay. The mix, mix on the coconut milk. Wow, oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I, I know finish, huh? <laughs> they also had coconut chips, which wasn't very good, and some sliced bananas. And of course, the barbecued protein with fish and chicken. Mm. There you go, fat ass pig, eat it. Before wrapping up our time in the Lagunarium, we got to see some sea turtles. Karen and myself took a few last minute pictures and videos of the surrounding area. And the tour operator showed us what the lemon sharks were like when you send them in a feeding frenzy when you chum the water with fish. Before long, it's time to say goodbye to the Lagunarium where the locals, pet dogs and pig bid us farewell by actually walking us to our boat, which is really cool to see. <laughs> the trip ended with one last song before we made it back to the main island. Before long, we made it to the main island where the tour operator actually was kind enough to take us near our Airbnb and our Airbnb host actually let us use their showers in another property because we are going to the airport the same day and obviously after going to the water, we're not quite clean. So we wanted to freshen up before flying back home to Canada. Our Airbnb host was so kind that even after we showered, they drove us back to the port where we would take the ferry back to the airport and then fly back to Tahiti. We flew back on Air Tahiti Nui on the way back to the US and a WestJet flight on the way back to Canada. That's it for my adventure to Bora Bora. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.